This is the Excursion 5 update. I actually decided to change a bunch of little things. The first thing and the most important thing that I did was I actually attached two strings to the back of the motor. And I attached them like that. And I went to Home Depot and I just got from the electronics department, you can get this clamp. And then from the um, sprinkler systems department, you can get this little pipe. It's just a little pipe. And then you can get the rod for it. And then you can get this T as well. And I did that because if I pull the string on the left side, then the motor is going to actually turn the boat to the left. And if I pull the string on the right side, which I can actually easily reach while I'm sitting, then the boat's going to turn to the right. So I didn't even have to actually think about if I want to go right, then I have to pull left and so on. It takes care of it. If I pull the right string, it goes right. If I pull the left string, it goes left. And that really made the whole excursion much smoother and easier and less stress on my arm since I had to constantly hold the rod on top, which was getting annoying. So this took care of it. I'm sitting, enjoying the trip just the same as everyone else, and I can steer it real easily. Otherwise, not many other things have changed, except that I placed two more stadium seats in the back. So all I have is four stadium seats. And the reason I did that, because it's much easier to assemble it. So my assembly time sped up. I don't have to blow seats up and stuff like that. Plus, it's so comfortable and it folds up. Everything is velcro, so I can place them anywhere. Um, it has three different settings. Um, it felt very comfortable and it's $39 each at Kmart. So it was worth it to me. So now I have four of those. I can place the seats in any direction I want. Some people actually, know, I noticed that they like to be sideways and they put their legs up on the side of the boat. Um, it was a lot of fun that way. And we could communicate and they had a good time. I actually ended up having five people on the boat and it was going just as fast so there was no issue but I really configured it for four people. I now can have two batteries on the boat. Really unnecessary because one battery lasts 10 hours. This battery was bought at Walmart. It's a 122 amp battery and it holds 845 amps altogether. Uh, I have an Endura 55 motor which was $240 at Amazon. The boat was $150 at Amazon.com. It's the Excursion 5 by Intax. And basically I put in the wood floors. The dimensions for the wood floors are 96 inches by 35 inches. This is 35 inches, 96 inches long. What I did was I cut it up by 40 inches, by 40 inches, by 16 inches here. And you actually have to cut the end just a little bit to fit. I hold the bag behind the batteries for the boat as I'm taking off. Um, I have this container that holds now only two life vests on top and two more life vests are behind the first two seats. It just worked out a little better for me. And then I can hold anything in the container inside. So I can have food or drinks inside the container. I also purchased a different propeller. The assembly of the propeller was a little bit complicated. I could not figure it out. You actually have to remove just the bolt. Once you remove the bolt, you actually have to force the propeller up by shaking it left and you know up and down up and down up and down with both hands and as you're shaking it it just starts sliding up it was a nightmare i could not believe how difficult it was but it comes up fine so this way i have an extra propeller in this container should anything happen you just have to carry a wrench with you or uh, um, along pliers and that takes care of the propeller if you have two batteries you can always switch to the other battery should anything happen to one uh, these batteries hardly take up any room now, and they are up front. 
So this works out perfectly for the boat. The boat goes fairly fast, the propeller with the three pieces on it. Originally I had the propeller in a plastic container, which was a great idea. But since I purchased a second propeller, which has three tiers instead of two, that propeller would not fit into the original plastic container. So I just purchased a bag. I actually cut out the end of it so the propeller would fit properly. But the reason I like the bag a little better, because after I assembled the boat, I had an issue with where to put the container. You know, real estate is everything on the boat. So this works out perfectly because that bag folds perfectly behind the batteries. So I just put that bag as well as the bag for the boat behind the batteries up front. When I store the motor, I just turn this little rod upside down. So this way it's easier to store it. 